Greetings. Once again today I want to speak about something that is so so important in everyone's life. And I want to speak about honor. And I repeat honor. Honor is something that nowadays we can almost say it's a rare commodity. It's something that is disappearing from our mouths. It's something that is disappearing from our actions because times are changing. But we need to realize that there are principles of life that as long as you apply them, they can never fail. And when I talk about principles, they apply to everyone. It doesn't matter which religion you are in, it doesn't matter which race, it doesn't matter which tribe you come from. Honor is very important. Now how can I define honor? Honor is the value, the esteem, the respect that you have for a person because of several things. Could be because of position, because of his wealth, because of what he has accomplished. And when we look very carefully, honor is a door opener. If you look at your life very carefully, you will know something. You will understand where you are today is because of the honor that you have given to someone or either the dishonor you have given to someone. Calculate your life very carefully because honor is like a watchman, the one who allows you to enter into the next level. And so when you fail in honoring, then you also fail to enter into the next level. It could be spiritually, it could be financially, it could be physically. Now let me give a very good example. Many times as human beings, we have so little honor for people like watchmen. These are people who are at the gates of maybe important places, shops, malls, estates, offices. But as human beings, we regard them as lower than us most of the times. And it is amazing, so many people have failed to see or even to get, for example, their jobs, their contracts, simply because they dishonored these people. And they have the authority to say, you can't enter. So, what am I saying? It is very important to know who you are supposed to give honor. Now, honor is not forced. Honor is something that you determine in your heart that you will have to give. Now, there are some key people that I will be talking about now that is very important to honor. Number one, God. God. It is important to honor God in everything that you do. How do you honor God? Through worship. How do you honor God? Through praise. How do you honor God? By giving unto Him. And when we honor God, then He releases His blessings into our lives. Many people dishonor God in many different ways. And one of the key ways that we dishonor God is by disobeying His commandments. We need to think twice when it comes to the issues that concerns God. Number two, parents. You know, parents are the second in levels when it comes to honor. Now, many people are not honoring their parents the way they should be. Because your parent never took you to school, so you can't respect him. Because your parent probably mistreated you badly when you were young, therefore you don't honor him. But let me say something, the good book says very well, honor your father and mother that it may be well with you. It may be well with you. Now if we look at our lives, most people, you can be able to determine whether you have, you are, everything is well or it is not well if you look at the way you've treated your parents. It is very, very important to realize no matter who your parent is, no matter what they have done, by the virtue that God used them as a conduit to bring you to planet Earth, then they deserve your honor. Now, I like the story of one woman who said that despite the fact that the husband left her, she has taught her sons to honor their father. He refused to, 
educator. He refused to pay for their needs. But when they grew up, he told them, listen to me, you are a gift that your father gave to me. The same way you respect me, if your father was not here, or if your father never married me for the short time you were with him, then you will not be here. And today you are enjoying life because I have worked hard, but you will not have enjoyed the blessings if your father did not play his part in bringing you to planet Earth. So what am I saying? It is important whether you know your father, whether you don't know him, whether you know your, uh, your mother, or whether you don't know her, as long as she's alive, you need to honor them. You may not even be in contact with your father, but in your heart, you need to carry him with respect. Now, let me say something. Your father could have left you, could have gone to another place, could have gone with another woman, but if you look at your physical features, subtract the ones that they say you resemble with your mother, whatever is left is the image or the inheritance that you got from your father, whether you're a man or a woman. And by the fact that there are some things that are good in you, then that is enough to honor that man. Honoring does not mean necessarily giving them anything, but just carrying them with a certain esteem, a value in them, whereby you don't talk badly about them because you don't know the reason why that man left. It's only your mom who could tell you why they left. And most of the time, they may not give you the whole story. But God does not say honor your father and mother because they are nice or when they are behaving well, he just simply says honor them. Now the second thing I will talk about is about honoring the king. When I talk about the king, I'm talking about the leader of a nation. Many times all over the world you hear people calling names to their president, they, 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 they talk badly about them, they talk uh, loosely concerning them, and you'll be amazed. Whatever God commands a man to do, when he doesn't do it, then there is something automatically that stops working in that person's life. The land and the king are connected in one way. And you'll be amazed, people who honor their leaders will automatically enjoy the blessings of that land. We have come to a time when you find people talking so loosely and so disrespectfully of their presidents, their governors, their MPs, their MCAs, not realizing that it is God who put them in those positions. And when you dishonor them, then you close a door of blessing in the area of their jurisdiction. So it is important to honor them. Remember, don't say anything concerning them that you have not been a witness to. And many of us, that's what we do. We pick up a story because it is written in the newspaper and we talk about it. And we make fun out of these people. Let me say this. Every nation, every county carries a blessing. The land carries a blessing. And when you honor the person who is in leadership in that area, then the earth begins to yield its increase. Now something else I will say concerning honor. How well do you honor your mentors? People who have mentored you through life. Now, and I will say this, mentors are not friends. Mentors are people who look you right on the face and they call you. If you are lazy, they tell you you are lazy. If you are not doing something right, they tell you you are not doing something right. Because God sent mentors into people's life so that they can be able to help you to your success. But how do you take the word that they give to you? That is the one way of honor. When you receive that word with gratitude, when you receive that word with celebration, and when you apply the word that they have spoken to you, then that is honor. Many people would have succeeded a long time ago, but they don't want to listen to what their mentors are saying. When they make corrections, you move out. And finally, let me say, they are what we call the servants of God, the person who speaks the word of God into your life. We are missing blessings. The word of God clearly says, believe in God, believe also in his prophets. Believe in the servants. If you cannot believe in the servant that God has sent into your life, then change your church. Go somewhere else. Because otherwise you'll be hearing a word, but because you don't honor them, you don't regard them with value, 
then you miss out the blessing that they are carrying. And remember this, that the good book says, it is by a prophet that they got the children of Israel, and it is by a prophet that they were sustained in the wilderness. And it was by a prophet that they prospered and even entered into their rest. So how well do you honor that person? And that is why I say again, if you don't feel like you can honor that person who speaks the word of God to you, then you'd rather change. Look for another church where you can respect that person. Otherwise, opening your mouth to discredit, to talk ill, to share wrong things concerning that person, either you have had, unless, even if you have proved it, it is better to go to that person directly with a lot of respect, say, servant of God, I feel wounded for one, two, three things. I know you are the person that has been sent into my life. I honor you, but I just want to share my heart with a lot of respect. And you'll be amazed at how well everything will go. So my challenge to you, there are so many people that deserve honor. Our police force, our security forces, our teachers, our lecturers, people who have been a blessing into our lives. I can't even mention them all. But my challenge to you, with my 10 minutes, let us go back to the crossroads and let us begin to honor them that honor is due. God bless you.